Guys, what's going on? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. I'm really excited to share some new custom items, some accessories here for the John Deere 1025R. Well, the whole one series, the 1023E, even if you have a 1026R, you know what? And some of these accessories here are also going to be compatible with larger series of John Deere tractors as well. As we go through this here, make sure you remember you get 5% off with discount code GWT. GWT, that stands for Good Works Tractors, but if you go to Muds Customs, I'll put a link below in the listing, probably in the, uh, the comment section as well. There'll also be links to it on my website too, but you get 5% off discount code GWT. So believe it or not, you can actually see everything from this viewpoint right here. We're gonna start back here, just on this grab handle here, along with these light holders that you can add on. Gonna have the only item that's not actually attached right now, I got the backhoe on there. When I take it off, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on there, but I did take a picture. I kind of laid it right on top of the current uh, receiver plate that's down there, or hitch plate, I should say, because it's not a receiver. But what this one does, gives you the actual two inch receiver here. Gonna have some integrated trailer tie down points, and then also a pinhole here if you do wanna pull along a, uh, a wagon or a cart, something along those lines. Moving on over here, you're going to see you have these mirror brackets that you can buy standalone if you want, or you can get yourself a little grab handle here, one for each side, make it a set. You can get the whole combination and make it all work together like what you see here as well. If we take a look down below, you're going to see a step right here, okay? Something that I'm asked about all the time, so I'm really uh, thrilled to be able to offer this solution, but these steps come in a variety of sizes, not only the, uh, the version that you see here, the six inch, but you can also get an eight inch version down or a five inch or a cab step that has a longer uh, a little step that goes platform that goes all the way over here this way. Keep in mind, if you have a mower deck underneath here, the eight inch drop is not going to work with the mower deck. Uh, the six inch drop will work almost all of the time the five inch drop will as well there's one goofy version of the mower decks out there that uh, muds tells me that uh, affects about five percent or less of the mower decks um, but they're working to resolve that and that'll be resolved really soon so moving up here even down here you can see this uh, where my hands at right here more tie down points you know i've done videos on this how uh, critical it is to have your your tractor safely secured when you're trailing it down the highway what a conundrum it is the fact that these tractors just don't have built-in tie down points so you can get them up here if you want to, and keep in mind, if you do have a quick hitch on there, say to run a, a plow blade or a snowblower, that kind of thing, you can also buy longer bolts, so that will be quick hitch compatible. So you add on uh, the tie down brackets up here, one for each side, and you get a set of longer bolts, it'll work just fine. Let's take a closer look here right at this MUDS custom step. Now keep in mind, this is just really a short list. Uh, MUDS is coming up with a lot of new items on a regular basis of accessories and, uh, and little attachments. Backhoe buckets are a really big thing, okay? If you have a backhoe, not just for a 1025R, but for the larger series as well. Uh, ripping buckets, they're coming out with a ripping tooth. They're coming out with a lot wider buckets, a lot, a lot of variety out there too. I encourage you to check it out. I want to start out with this step right here because this is a very good example of what MUDS Customs tries to do. So first of all, you can see the very fine uh, powder coat that's on here. They sandblast and powder coat, but uh, look at the construction of this, okay? You're going to see there's a little support down here. That's the only weld that's going to be on this entire piece. This entire chunk up here is all one piece, CNC'd, okay? It's very, very strong this way. That's one of the things that MUDS tries to do is eliminate welds whenever possible to give you the strongest possible material. And I tell you, I really love this integrated tie down right here. So when you get a step, you're gonna get the matching tie down for the other side because what good is one tie down? You wanna have uh, equal uh, ability to restrain the machine on the other side as well. So right here, now if you did not wanna get the step, you can actually just get a set of these loader uh, mounted tie downs right here that is available for you to purchase at Mutz Customs. Now, if you're like me, you're sitting there thinking, why didn't I come up with that, right? So, you know, I give them credit. They made a really good design. Not only did they find that need and they, and they filled it, but they did a really, really good job at doing so. And you can tell that here as well, that same kind of um, lack of welds is going to carry on through these types of products here as well. The grab handle is simply going to be cnc that same sandblasting and, and powder coating done on here, but no welds at all in here. Uh, these mount right up to pretty much all of the compact John Deere loaders with the exception of the three. E. There may be another one out there or not, but basically if you have uh, a hole that's going to be in the top little uh, portion, you can see right where this bolt goes through here, okay? So if you have a hole that's in your loader arm there, like on all the 1 Series tractors, on the 2 Series, on the 3R and the 4 Series tractors, well then you can use these grab handles right here. You can buy just one, you can get a set for each side. You can, again, buy these mirror mounts here independently from the grab handles, or you can uh, get them both and mount it just like you see here. It'll fit and bolt all together. Now, 
I just got these on here and I kind of played with around them, uh, around with them today. I went up and down the road a couple times. I've, I've rotated this. I've uh, considered offsetting these brackets to the side a little bit to get them to stick out a little bit further too. But uh, now the mirrors are not going to be available at Muds Customs. But uh, right now I do have a link on Amazon where you can purchase these again, just a single mirror or a double mirror. So check out the description below. You'll get more information down there. Go ahead and take a little bit closer look at this right here but again this is uh, just a, a plate for the back of the 1025r for the one series okay the 1023e uh, the 1026r it will work with a backhoe all right so you can leave your backhoe on you take the hitch plate that's out of there right now and you make it a lot more versatile with these tie down points okay again very critical you want them on the front you want them on the back watch the tie down uh, and trailering videos that i've done if you haven't done so but again you get this pinhole version here if you want it there's a version without right now but i don't know why you would would want that one i give yourself all the versatility that's the great thing about these accessories and then of course uh, your two inch receiver hitch right there as well okay so right here is a backhoe grab handle okay right up top you're gonna see these holes right here so that you can actually add on lights if you want to. I guess you could uh, get creative and add on something else as well, but just provisions there to add on some work lights. So if you're doing things at dusk uh, or in the dark, it gives you a little bit more versatility there as well. So what these holes are right here is there was actually, you know, the uh, the slow moving vehicle bracket and triangle that would go here. So if you wanted to, I, I, I haven't done so yet, but you could rebolt uh, everything right on here and still have the, that ability as well. But Everything is going to fit in a, a, a hole, an existing hole that's already there, okay? There's no drilling that you have to do with any of these attachments. Um, it just bolts right to it. comes with the hardware you need as well. Okay, so right here, again, the very critical front tie-down point. You can get these in green or black. I chose black, I think. Uh, you know, it just kind of blends in a little bit better that way but feel free to get either color again you can get these what it comes with the hardware if you need to okay if you need longer hardware to go through here for a quick hitch compatible version of this so say you have a snow blower or you have um, a, a snow plow and you have some brackets already on here and you need longer bolts then okay so you can get the option that has longer bolts to go through here and make it so you can have uh, your tie down point your grill guard and your quick hitch bracketry all on here at the same time well, so a lot of you guys don't really want to stick with the stock bucket that comes on the back all right? And so that could be for uh, a 1 Series, a 2 Series, 3 Series, 4 Series, and so on. Well, the good news is, is Mud Customs makes a lot of different backhoe buckets. They make a, a ripping bucket that's a very narrow one. Not a tooth, but a, a little a, a trenching, little tiny ripper bucket. Uh, they also make your standard size. They make, a, I think it's a 16, an 18, a 24 inch even. You know, they have replacement teeth, all sorts of good stuff. They're coming out developing a quick attach mechanism as well. That should be pretty darn sweet if it's like the rest of the Mud Customs equipment. And I want to make sure you remember, even on the backhoe buckets and any other products that are coming out on MUD's website, you get 5% off with discount code GWT. Now I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't mention the other accessories, attachments, that kind of thing that are on here because I get asked all the time, okay? So just gonna hit those really quick. But what you have here is a heavy hitch tooth bar. You have some Allens here. What do you have? One, two, three, four, yeah, seven of them on here. It tightens down right on there, okay? No drilling required. This bad boy just stays right in place, rock solid, okay? You get 5% off anything on Heavy Hitch's website with discount code GWT, but these tooth bars are a big hit. Buy them on their website, they can ship them right to you well i finally got the new and improved uh, wheel spacer adapter kit here for dual wheels on a 1025 or any one series or really the bx series as well even large garden tractors anything that's got a 26 12 12 uh, rear tire like what you see right here this kit will fit go to miller tire i do have a link below in the description you can get five percent off uh, with discount code gwt you can get this kit you can get the tires and the wheels on there too and get all set up with your dual wheel adapter kit i'm telling you this greatly enhances the stability of the machine a super easy and cheap form of protection is going to be a john deere seat cover like what you see here again i got a link below where you can get this but this thing costs 35 40 bucks something like that it's machine washable if you want to obviously it's been a little while since i've watched this washed this but a uh, very easy installation it's just got uh, bungees here in the back and a couple of them and a little clip here that hold it in place you really never have to shift this thing around once it's on there it does fit quite well it's got a little bit of pad on there too although this is already a very comfortable seat but uh, fits right around the armrest and everything as well so get yourself some cheap insurance and get one of these seat covers no mud customs does not offer the saw haul neither does gwt but i found this it just popped up in my amazon feed one day and then lo and behold people just started asking me about, do you have a chainsaw holder for your machine? And so 
you know, eventually things just clicked, right? And so this makes, makes perfect sense. Uh, it just bolts on with this bracket here. It's more of a universal tractor fit, so you can mount it in a variety of locations, but this is a very natural fit right here. You simply slide the, uh, the chainsaw right down in this holder. It's out of the way. You don't have to keep it in your bucket or try to find a place on your three-point hitch or whatever else. It's just a nice, handy location for it. And again, there'll be a link in the description below. Well, hopefully this has been helpful. Rosie really wanted to come and say hi at the, uh, the end of the video here. So, uh, but again, discount code GWT help you out with a discount on all sorts of accessories. Make sure you read through the description as well. Um, check out goodworkstractors.com. A lot of good attachments for your tractor too. And I can also help you with a tractor. I can help you with an attachment. Can put together a whole package and help with delivery too. If you haven't done so yet, consider hitting that subscribe button underneath the video and make sure you check out the other videos on the channel. Until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.